In this video, I'll be giving you three reasons why using a tripod like this one is the best option that will give you the best results for filming birds and wildlife in their natural habitat. Coming right up. Hi, welcome to Birding Today. My name is Guillaume Durig and today we're talking about tripods. Now, I love tripods. I always take a tripod with me when I go out to film birds and wildlife, and it's just a great tool. The first reason that I want to give you for, you know, getting into tripods and using them is stability. Now, that might seem like a bit of an obvious reason, the stability, of course, but I'm going to dig deeper into it because if you have a tripod and you've got a bird in the shot, in, the, in frame, the only thing moving is going to be the bird or some leaves in the wind that are next to the bird or whatever but the only thing moving is is the thing you're filming so it gives you greater detail about what you're filming you know you can see the the, the bird's behavior uh, more clearly you know you can see how it moves everything's clearer so I'll put some examples on screen of some videos that I've uh, that I've shot um, all of them that you can see now have been shot with a tripod and as you can see you know, there's more detail. It's just, it just seems crisper. So that's one of the reasons that I like to use a tripod because it gives you stability and therefore more detail. Number two, it ties in a little bit to the first one, but it's that you can just film for longer. Once you have a bird that's in the, in the, in the frame, you can hit record and then you can just put your hands in your pockets, look away. Sometimes I, you know, I hit record and there's a bird um, in, in frame being recorded and I can just, you know, look elsewhere. You know, you have to be quiet because if you want to have the sound, um, you have to be quiet. But once it's recording, you don't need to do anything else. You can take your hands off and, and, and forget about it. I do that a lot, especially when the bird is quite static. You know, sometimes when a bird is, is sitting still, it does these, this amazing behavior. Uh, like I've got, I've got a lot of shots where, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, th a three minute, four minute video. And one second of that is the bird going or opening its beak for half of a second. I'll give some examples of, of the stuff I've, I've caught on camera here. And that's thanks to a tripod, because you can't just simply wait with your hands like this until it does something. So it allows you to film for longer, your arms don't get tired, your eyes don't get strained looking at the cam looking, you know, looking at the frame. So yeah, that's number two. Get some better behavior because you're filming for longer. Number three is that you can actually get closer to the bird. If you use the maximum zoom of your camera and you hold it with your hand like that, it's not going to work. So the zoom of your camera is essentially wasted if you don't use the tripod. I bet you if you go to the maximum zoom of your camera and you try to get a bird on the wire, it's going to be all over the place. If you have a tripod, the zoom will be in its element, you know, that's what zooms are for. They're for long shots that need stability so that you can see clearly what's on the other side. You will give the zoom of your camera its full potential by getting a tripod and, you know, playing with it, testing out uh, what you can film, the, the farthest things you can film. I have another video which I'll put up here in the card um, that you can click on and that's the, the test of my Sony camera um, where I do just that. I have a tripod and I just go, I zoom in and out and you'll see that I can't actually do that without a tripod because it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't allow me the stability, you know, to, to get in and out of an object. So that said, there are some drawbacks to having a tripod that you have to consider. You have to lug it around everywhere, it gets quite heavy if you're out for a day or more. Um, some of them can cost a lot, it depends which. Um, I don't really mind about the brand as long as it's a good quality. Often they'll come with cameras, often they won't. <laughs> but um, that's one of the drawbacks, so it's, it's, it's heavier and more cumbersome to carry with you than just having a camera around your neck, for example, or in your backpack. The second drawback that you need to be aware of is it takes time to find the birds on on camera, so you know you have to kind of fixate on where you want the camera to be pointing at, and then get it fixed. You know, so tighten it. And I need to get an upgrade actually because this tripod is sometimes it gets um, it moves about and it's hard to get it fixed on, onto the spot. But once you get those things sorted out, you know, if you're okay with carrying it around a bit and if you get a good tripod that can 
you know, really fix in on something, then you're in for a really good, um, a really good time. And, um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I just thought that I'd uh, put this together for you guys, since, you know, we're all looking for things to do during this, uh, this crazy time. I'm going to be posting regularly and it's going to be a good, a good journey. So, um, that's it. That's why I think tripods are good. If you like this video, please do give it a like, give me a subscribe. Um, and tell me what you think I should, uh, I should do next, you know, what do you guys want uh, as content and um, oh, there's someone next door. And uh, yeah, that's all, that's pretty much it. So um, shout out to my recent subscribers, um, thanks guys, really helpful and, and encouraging. So uh, I'll see you next time and I'll leave you with a couple of, uh, of videos that I took uh, with the tripod, just to give you some inspiration. All right, see you soon.